Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and anybody else who happens by to watch this video. It's a really good one. Today is Monday, July 26th, and it is 2 o'clock p.m. And I want to share with you the latest prophecy given to Julie Wedby called the Days of Declaration. She got it on the 25th, just yesterday. For some reason, I was thinking it was the 27th already, but no, it's just the 26th. Okay, well, here's what she says. As I was in prayer today, pleading with Yehoshua for more, more strength, more peace, and more joy, more of Him, more clarity, and more focus, I felt a peace come over me that reminded me that we are called to abide in Him and not strive. The enemy has mastered ways to distract us, discourage us, and make us feel less than. You know that feeling, like you're less than who you really are in Christ. Yeah, who, that's me talking. Yahushua is always gentle and loving in reminding us of his promises. That we are loved beyond measure. Unconditional love requires nothing in return. His, he simply wants us to obey, trust him, and rest in his love and his promises. Now remember, this is her thoughts. Okay? So he really does require things in return. Otherwise, she wouldn't have gone on to say he simply wants, and this is what he wants, to, for us to obey, trust him in all things, and rest in his love and his promises. Well, you know the word pause, the word of God and all it says. Like that one teaching I did on Matthew 5 alone tells us a long list of things we're to do and not do. Let me move on. But with so much happening around us and so quickly... It is alarming to see the headlines and realize, quote, this is it, unquote, so to speak. Yeah, many people are saying that. This is it. We're here. And that's true. As I have always done and will continue to do, I pray to be emptied. I pray to be that emptied vessel through which Yahushua can pour out his spirit and his heart, not only for me personally, but for all those who have ears to hear for as long as he wills for me to do so. His words are truth and they are life. Let us continue to press into our calling and our King, as He does a work in each of us to bring us to where we need to be in Him in these final moments. Okay, so now this says the message was received July 24th, 2021. He says, this is the Lord speaking now, My weary rose, I have never left you, and you are loved beyond measure. I hear the cries of your heart, the cries of my remnant, those who are close to my heart. I see every tear. I know your weariness and your sadness, all of you. At what is happening all around you. I am very well aware of how urgently you want to rescue and I am very well aware of how urgently you want rescue and deliverance. But as 
you already know it must be exactly in my perfect timing. I promise you that you will very, very soon understand so much more as I draw my cherished ones to me. All will fall into place just as it has been designed. Nothing out of place, not one moment sooner or later than I have decreed. Let me pull this down. I realize that pushing through the darkness is not easy. And this is why you, <clears throat> excuse me, let me get a sip of coffee. This is why you are my overcomers. What are you eating now? Oh, there's no telling. Probably a piece of tissue. My remnant is small, but you are mighty in me. I allow many things in your life to challenge you in order that I can finish the work I have begun in you. The final touches are being made and you will shine brilliantly as my purified vessels, having come through the fire, only to be completely emptied of you, so that I can pour forth in all might and power. Never cease praying, no matter how weary you become. Never take your eyes off of my face. Never stop running with everything you have towards me and my heart. What is with all the noise in the hall today? It's okay, Jasper. You're doing real good. Good boy. He went to sniff, but he didn't bark. Do not... Okay, let's see. Never stop running with everything you have towards me and my heart. Do not let your guard down. Be diligent and circumspect, discerning the spirits as the darkness increases around you. You have already overcome the evil one, and you are hidden in me and will not be harmed. Pray with boldness and authority as the battle is fierce and requires an offensive position. The enemy is terrified of you walking in your purpose and it is time to come forth from the wilderness and announce the coming of my chosen ones. Let me reread that. The enemy is terrified of you walking in your purpose and it is time to come forth from the wilderness and announce the coming of my chosen ones. The army of the elect who will usher in my kingdom. The days of declaration have begun. Raise your banner and shout our victory. How do I do this, you ask? Praise and powerful prayer. Speak my scripture boldly. Raise your banner and shout our victory. How do I do this, you ask? Praise and powerful prayer. Speak my scripture boldly, audibly, many times a day if you are not already doing so. Speak in declarations from my word. Announce the arrival of your bridegroom. Bind the forces of evil and command them to flee from you and your loved ones. 
Shout the promises I have made to you and declare that I am king and I am coming. I am coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Make time every day to ask me what I have for you that day. And know I am changing the time on your behalf. He says, and know I am changing. No, he is changing the time on your behalf. You notice time is not the same anymore, and this is by design. I change times and seasons for your benefit, and you will soon see what it is I have done. Do not be worried about the quick passing of it. Use this last bit of time that you do have wisely. I am allowing you to make absolutely sure there is nothing left of you but only me that is working in and through you. Love unconditionally and forgive everyone. Let go of everything but me. Have mercy and intercede for the lost ones. I'm pretty sure he means those that have not accepted him as their savior, but have not taken the you-know-what, because those people are lost for good. Ask me for your next steps, and I will give them to you. Be anxious for nothing, my precious ones. Now, I'm going to pause because what I just said has come from uh, science. Um, what we know about what that thing does is doing and will be doing very shortly the changing of things that God created and God's messages himself. And people who say that it is not, that it is just the precursor, they're coming up with that. If they're getting that from the Lord, it's not our Lord. Okay? I'm sorry to say that for those of you who don't know it already. It's very sad. I have many loved ones who took it. I promise I will strengthen you. I will heal you. I will deliver you. I will fill you. I will counsel you. I will provide for you and protect you. And I will send you out. I will be with you forever and always. Trust me, my faithful ones. Trust me, Yahushua. Beautiful word. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. And he will direct your paths. That's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Now she adds Ephesians. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can't read these. These are too tiny for me. So what I'm going to do is put them. I can fit these in the. Um, wow. Here's what. I don't know if I put this one up or not. July 13, it is the season for my first fruits to manifest. I'll have to check and see. I might have put that one up. Okay, so I'm going to end this one here saying I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connection. And pray that I will continue to have enough strength to keep bringing words or either from the Bible 
or from the Lord. That's what I plan to do. And if it's not something I feel led to share, I'm not going to. But um, the ones, my letters from Dawn and these, some of these from 444 Prophecy News, the Lord wants them shared or he wouldn't be putting them out. So please share them. Okay, she even changed her lion picture and added the words about sharing. I saved it. It's on my desktop, which I'll use as my thumbnail. It says on there, share with my children or something. I don't remember exactly how it's worded. So I'm going to end this here. I'm going to say you all have a blessed day, blessed night, where whenever it is when you see this. Okay, and with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.